Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's video, I'm going to include MH8FC MC Home Thermostat 2 Fibaro Home Center 3 Lite to show you the inclusion procedure and test the compatibility. MH8FC is a fan coil thermostat, a Z-Wave Plus enabled device for indoor temperature control. It is mainly applied to two pipe fan coil systems or four pipe fan coil systems. The two pipe model can control one valve and the four pipe fan coil can control two valves. So purchasing it, you should pay attention which one is suitable for your system. To find out, two pipe fan coil systems have one input and one output related to the line of water flow. On the other hand, four pipe fan coil systems have two separate input and two separate output lines for water flow. Stay tuned to do the inclusion and test the compatibility. After connecting the power supply to fan coil thermostat, in Fibaro UI navigate to settings on the left panel. In the setting list, click devices. Here we have all Z-Wave other. I click on Z-Wave tab, then click on plus sign. You can tick or let's say check network wide inclusion or add in security mode if device supports it. I increase the learning mode duration to 60 seconds, then click on start adding. Fibaro Home Center enters into inclusion mode. While it is in inclusion mode by entering the device to inclusion mode, the inclusion is done. Under the shutdown state, press and hold this button. To enter interface for inclusion or exclusion of the wave network. Displaying three lines means the device is not added to any Z-Wave network. Then I touch this button again. Device is added to Z-Wave network. 12 is the ID of Z-Wave node in Fibaro UI. Inclusion is done. I navigate to dashboard. You see that we have a temperature sensor. This is the temperature of the environment. And this is the thermostat. I open the thermostat device. Thermostat state is idle. You can change the mode of thermostat to heat, cool, fan. You can increase or decrease heating scent point. Also, you can decrease or increase cooling set point. Also, we have fan mode. You can set the fan mode. Fan mode can be set to low, high, medium. Do not forget to click on set. I forgot to set the status of the thermostat. I set it to heat. Orange, here you see the orange line, means thermostat is in heating mode. If I set it to cooling, the color of circle is changed to green, which means cooling mode. So using Fibaro UI, we can set heating set point, cooling set point, change the mode of thermostat and set the fan mode. The thermostat has capacitive touch switch. Also, it has a tempered glass panel. If I increase or decrease the set point of thermostat using touch buttons, after setting it, Fibaro shows that. I change the cooling mode to heating mode.
Fibaro shows that. Let's change the speed manually. Touching M button means confirming setting. We have the feedback of fan. Fan state is running medium. There are some parameter settings. Under the shutdown state, press and hold M button to enter parameter setting menu. The password is 5, 1, 3, 8. Parameter number 1 is screen brightness, 0 means dim without key touch, 1 means always on. Parameter number 2 is related to fan work mode. Parameter number 4 is temperature unit, 0 is Celsius, 1 is Fahrenheit. This is the unit displaying in thermostat display. Parameter number 5 is related to the beep sound. Parameter number 6 is power failure memory. Setting it to 0 means device will be in shutdown state after power failure. Setting it to 1 means device will be in working interface. And setting it to 2 means device will stay the status before power failure. Parameter number 7 is related to calibrating temperature sensor. Parameter number 8 is temperature upper limit. Parameter number 9 is temperature lower limit. Using MH8FC MC Home Thermostat in Fibaro Home Center 3 Lite, it is fully compatible. We can control the thermostat from Fibaro app or UI completely. And if the thermostat parameters or set points mode are changed using its buttons, immediately Fibaro shows its feedback. I tested this device in Fibaro Home Center 3. I got the same results. Let's exclude the device from Fibaro Home Center. In Fibaro, I navigate to settings on the left panel, select devices. Click on minus button, clicking start removing, Fibaro enters into exclusion mode. Under shutdown state, press and hold this button till the number, the ID number of the device is displayed. Then touch the button again. The device is excluded. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.